Hey guys, it's Liz. Today I have another D-Stash video. I have two lots to sell today. And you know, let me tell you something, going through all my stuff that I'm getting rid of definitely gets me, uh, you know, in the mood to craft. So I actually have been crafting. Yay! So I'll probably have a craft video for you later on in the week. And um, excuse me if you hear me talking. Kind of funny, I've got a cough drop in my mouth. I've just been coughing non-stop. So hopefully I won't cough throughout this video. Alright, so let's get started. First lot is this here. It's a small kit that I put together using some um, embellishments and items that I had in my stash that I thought would go well together. And for this first one, I'm asking for just $20 shipped. You know, it's going to cost me like $10.55 or so in a padded um, priority envelope to send this out. So, you know, I'm going to make like 8 or 9 bucks. But that's okay because um, I'd rather these things go to a good home and, you know, rather than me just kind of, you know, throwing them in the garbage or, you know, sending them to Goodwill. At least I know someone will appreciate this. And, you know, we'll make something nice out of it. So, really quick, this is actually, um, it was part of the Bow Bunny Mama Rossi collection, but I used a lot of the papers, but I was left with some of the embellishments. So, I found coordinating papers and other items that I thought would go well with the collection, even though it's not the whole Mama Rossi collection, okay? Let me tell you that. I just found papers I would coordinate. So, um, you will get this little, um, pack of embellishments that I made. It's just these cute little cameras that I put together using scraps from the Mamarazzi collection. So this collection is pretty neutral. It's blues, browns, uh, there's a little bit of green in there. So it can be both feminine and masculine depending on the embellishments that you use. And I think this collection would be great for like, um, I used it on a memory folio and I gave it to my sister for her birthday and she loved it. But this would be great for like a traveler's type of notebook or, you know, anything like that. So even just cards, you know, masculine cards and whatnot. So you'll get a pack of these three little cameras, uh, put that together. And then here are some cut-aparts from the actual Mamarazzi collection. There's some tags in here and then some, um, like, phrases, uh, lights, camera, action, and a couple of other little elements that I threw in there for the, you know, cut-aparts. Um, you get this collection here of rub-ons, and the, this is the only one that I used right here. I used part of this. So all the rest are in there. Okay, and then I did use some of the chipboard um, stickers, but there's three in there, and I figured, you know what, I mean, why throw them away when you can easily use these, right? So I'm going to just throw those in there. There's going to be a sticker sheet, and the sticker sheet ha is cardstock stickers, and it's got, like, you know, cute little sayings, say cheese, uh, picture perfect, family photos, that kind of thing. And this coordinates with the papers that I picked out really well. Okay, you're also going to get two of these wooden um, film strips, and I thought these would be really cute. You can add, like, a picture behind here. I think these would be really nice. And uh, let's see. Then there's a sticker sheet here from the Mamarazzi collection. And this is the only uh, sticker that I used. And it's actually in... I ended up not using it. I backed it onto some cardstock and it's actually in here. It's right here. Alright, so th this uh, has some images, some borders, and some alphas. And again, this is a cardstock um, sticker sheet. Uh, you're also going to get the die cut that I ended up not using. This is from the actual Mamarazzi collection, but I ended up not using it in my folio because, of course, how can I use this if it's too big? But um, I think the shape is really nice. I like the neutral colors. And again, this will be really pretty for layout. So you've got that. And then the papers that I selected were from my stash. And they are papers that I think would go well. There's, a, you know, blues and browns in here. There's two of each in here. And there's different patterns. And then, like I said, I just kind of randomly picked things that I thought would go with, you know, the embellishments that I had left over and some of the, um, you know, the other little elements. There's two of each sheet. And like I said, this is mostly blues and browns, creams. Um, there's a little bit of green, of course, on the sticker sheets, but I didn't have any green papers. But I think these blues and browns would go uh, really well together. And then, so I am skipping through some of them, but I think for the most part, there's two of each sheet, and then there's a third of this polka dot one right here. And if I'm not mistaken, I should have counted the papers. I want to say there's 21. One, two, four, six, eight. Uh, let's see. I should have counted it first. I can't remember what it was. 10, 12, 14, 16. 18, oh, there's going to be more than 21, there's 20, 22, 23, so there's 23 sheets, and then, you know, you get everything else, so, again, it's only $20, $20 shipped, I figure you guys can, you know, make something pretty out of it, 
um, using, you know, the stuff that was left over from the actual kit that I got. But, um, so if you're interested, of course, this is U.S. only, PayPal only, friends and family, preferably. I will put a link down below to my email, or not a link, but my, I'll put my email address down below. You can leave me a comment here on YouTube, or you can email me and let me know which lot you're interested in. As soon as I receive your payment, I will mark the lot as shipped so nobody else, um, you know, asks for it. And then, of course, I will ship these immediately. So if I receive payment today, they will go out tomorrow, I promise. I do work full-time, so I try to, you know, get to the post office early in the morning to get these packages out. So this is the first one, and again, lot number one is $20 shipped. Okay, so let me know. And let me get the second lot. <clears throat> All right, the second lot right here, I'm calling linen and lace lot, and I am asking for $50 shipped. It will go in a, in a uh, priority box, and so you'll get it in about two days or so. Um, so $50 for this collection, and it starts off with the paper pad. Um, let's see. This is the paper pad right here. It is called the Lace and Linen Stack. It is by Die Cuts with a View, and it's a really pretty collection. It's got uh, pinks and browns and ivory and touches of green here and there like a mint green really soft some of the papers are um glitter like half of them are glittered and it's a really pretty collection there's 48 sheets but i have used a few of these sheets maybe about six sheets and whatever's left over i will include in the pack so i'll tuck it inside you know all my um pieces that are left okay but it's a really pretty collection like see i've used part of that but I just, I mean, I haven't used it in years. I've had this, I think, maybe, I don't know, three or four years or so, and I just haven't used it. I used it that one time that I made a project, haven't used it since, and there's no sense in it sitting here when it can definitely, you know, be used somewhere else. Someone else might, you know, be able to use this. Okay, so really pretty. It kind of reminds me of, like, you know, sort of vintage shabby feel and it just reminds me of like sewing you know that kind of thing so it's really pretty and like I said half of the sheets are glittered so that's the paper that you will be getting in this little kit and then I'm also throwing in these die cuts that I thought would go really well and these are really really intricate and delicate die cuts these were by Kayen Company and I lost the packaging I don't even know where it is but look how pretty these are see look how pretty and they're very delicate and I think these would go really well with that collection. And so there's uh, butterflies in here. There's leaves, like fern leaves and stuff. There's branches with birds on them. There's a bunch of little die cuts in here. I want to say maybe there's like 20 or so. So really pretty. And then I'll throw these in there. I think these would go well with the collection. And then you're also going to get, um, you know, uh, some trims and stuff that I thought would go well. I mean, of course, it's called lace and linen, so it would be perfect. So I believe there is, let me see, this one I think is three yards, and then this one I believe is one yard. But it's really pretty ivory or cream trim. And then this one, I like to, I have a ton of this, I have like maybe 20 yards of this. I like to cut it up and use these little parts, you know what I mean? Or you can use the whole thing, it's up to you. But um, it is really pretty and it adds a lot of texture to your projects. And this one is really nice too, so it's like a crochet and then it's got the little ribbon here. So that will be included in the pack, in the um, the lot. And then here's another set of trims. So you've got this braided trim in that brown color or taupe. And then this one's really pretty. It's got like little flowers. And this is more like an ivory. And then here's a cream ruffle trim. Really pretty. And then here is a, um, I believe there's three, no, four yards of pearl. These are flat back pearl trim. And these would be um, really pretty too, like even over another one of the trims or, um, you know, just as a border. It's really sweet. And this is uh, some chiffon, I don't know what you say, pleated or I don't know what this would be called, ruffle. But I believe it's three yards of this stuff. And it's so pretty, it's so soft. And I love the baby pink color. It goes really well with the collection. And then there's also these two wide laces that I'm including. And I didn't close this properly. Let me fix it. But these are so nice. They're like really soft. It's like a baby pink. And then the ivory color. And they're nice and wide. But of course you can definitely cut these down if you wanted to. But these I thought were just beautiful. And so that will be in the kit. And I'm also having these, um, including these stickers. These are removable stickers. These were by Recollections. 
and they had them at Michael's, I don't know, a couple years ago, and I just have them in my stash hat. I never used them, so I thought uh, they would go well with the kit that I'm putting together. So this is like a really pretty lace uh, trim, but it is a sticker, and it is removable, so you can easily use it on the glass, just like they have in the picture. That would be really pretty. And then there's two more of those in different styles. There's this one here, and it's got, uh, this one's more of a floral really pretty. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to use these on paper too, you know what I mean? They're just stickers, so these would be really nice on a card. And uh, here's some butterflies. Those are super pretty too. I like, I like how they look like little um, appliques. Okay, and then I'm adding um, these little gloobers, they were called. And uh, basically what it is, it's a giant glue dot. Don't mind my dog. <laughs> There's probably someone at the door. But these are giant glue dots, and they help you create fabric flowers. So see the picture? Like you could take like a, a ribbon or a piece of fabric or whatever, and then just roll it up to create a pretty flower. And I think there is 12. I may or may not have used one of them in one of these packs. I don't remember. But there is 12 clear adhesive dots. And there's two packs, so you can easily make pretty flowers. And the fabric flowers, I think, would be pretty. Um, there's a page in the um, the paper pack that kind of looks like those flowers, you know what I mean? So that's why I thought of throwing that in there. And then I'm also including this here. This is by Petaloo, and these are just little uh, headpieces. Not headpieces. What are these called? Uh, it's on the back. Hat pins. So beaded hat pins. I couldn't think of the name. But uh, they have, like, some little brown... Um, gems or whatever, so I thought that would go well with the collection. And since it reminds me of sewing, you know what I mean? So like the little hat pins and stuff. And then I'm also throwing a bunch of little embellishments that I thought would also go well. So you're going to get a bag of six of these clear baubles. Um, six of these pink ones. These are some light pink. And then there's a half dozen or six of these brown pretty little butterflies. And they're so pretty. They've got like a little rhinestone body and then some little rhinestones on the wings. And some of them have glitter. So that's pretty, and um, there was a pink pack too. And then here's six of the pink ones. Super sweet. And then this is one of those wheat sprays, and I think this would be really nice as well. And this one is brown, and then it has the clear um, leaves, so this is really pretty. And then I've got uh, two of the brown acrylic flowers. And I think these would be pretty as well on the project. And they have rhinestones in the middle. Really nice. And then there's also pink. And I'm sorry about the glitter. I put everything in like little baggies to make it easier so that when I send it out, I just put in the box, you know, throw in a box and ship it out immediately. So two pink ones, two clear ones. And these are gorgeous in person, you guys. The shimmer's so pretty. And then these two butterflies, they're like metal. It's almost like, um, what is this called? I can't even think of the name, but kind of reminds me of ramen, the way the ramen looks, but it's just pink, pink metal pieces, like wire, and it makes two butterflies, and you can easily use this in a charm, to create a charm, so that I thought would go well, and then these are pretty too, these are hearts, and they're dimensional, and again, you can use these to make charms for your projects, or of course, incorporate them in your project somehow. And then I've got a little bag of cameos, and I picked colors that I thought would go well. So there's some browns in there, lighter browns, some pinks, different shades of pink. And, uh, of course, you know, they all have that vintage feel that I think would go really well with the papers and the rest of the embellishment. So that is it for lot number two. And lot number two, I am asking for $50 shipped. It will go in a priority box, so you will get it in a couple of days. And, um, you know, as soon as, I re as soon as I ship it, I will send you a tracking number so that you know that your package is on its way. And, of course, U.S. only, PayPal only, friends and family. And, again, I will put the e email down below so you can leave me a comment on YouTube or send me an email. Let me know if you're interested. And upon receiving payment, like I said, I will ship this immediately. So if I get payment today, it will go out tomorrow morning, promise. So... That's it for now. I'll probably uh, be following up with a second uh, de-stash video. And like I said, this uh, coming week I'll come out with a crafting video. I have been crafting. Yay! So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.